Hello, this video is being brought to you by Maria de la Luz of Maria of the Light Ministry. And I'm coming to you here today to invite you to 15 minutes of peace, information, education, and knowledge. And the reason that I'm coming to you today is because we're at a critical time in our society today and we need empowerment. We don't need division, we need empowerment. And why do I say empowerment? because we all need to encourage each other. The key word here today is encourage. I'm an encourager. I'm a business and financial consultant by profession and I've operated in ministry for 20 years. But the key component in everything that I do is I encourage people's spirits to move forward, to press on, to not give up, even if it involves their finances. And as a consultant, you become people's friends. But the first thing I'm gonna do before I start with my dialogue here today is to tell you to keep me in, my, in your prayers. And the reason that I ask this is because I'm gonna go out and encourage people to stay focused and to stay united. Even though it's hard today when you've got everybody screaming hate, crime here, you've got violence going on here, you've got mass shootings, you've got divisions. At the end of the day, God gave us two great commandments, to honor God our Father with all our heart, mind, and soul, and our being. And second of all, to love our neighbor as thyself and to be forgiving. I am a survivor of brain aneurysm surgery. I have 16 brain clips in my head, a containing them plate, four screws, two bolts. And I survived the brain surgery that they said that if I survived it, I wouldn't have my right eye. I need to give you this because this is part of my testimony and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't but for the Holy Trinity. Here recently on July 1st, I was airlifted in a medical mercy helicopter to UCSF. Here in Fresno, they had diagnosed that I had a, bla a blood, blood brain bleed in my head. By the grace of God, my daughter, my granddaughter, my grandkids prayed, I prayed, my family prayed. In the name of Jesus, after repeated, repeated tests and intensive care, there was nothing. Who was that? The mighty act of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And because God has left me here, I feel I, in my heart that every word that comes out of my mouth is not just a word of a politician trying to get a vote. It's not a word of a person who's paid me because I'm self-employed. I don't get paid unless I work. But this is the word of God, the word of the Holy Spirit that's come to me and told me to do this video. There's all kinds of people out there and there's a lot of people who will probably look at it and say I'm a crackpot or what does she know? Well, I know a lot because I'm a survivor and I had health issues all my life. And the biggest and greatest was the brain surgery and this last time that I got airlifted, which got cleared up. So if you believe in the word of God and you trust in the word of God and you have faith and you have deeds, you will be successful in this life. As a business consultant, I come to you today because everybody's talking about 2020, get out and vote. That's political talk. That's political. And I'm going to say it, bullshit. Because sometimes you just got to say it for what it is. It's political bullshit because everybody wants you to vote. All these politicians can make promises, but that's all they are. Unless Congress and Senate agree, nothing's going to happen. And what I'm here today to say is don't listen to the pastors. Don't listen to the priests. Don't listen to the politicians. Don't listen to anybody. Listen to your Holy Spirit. Because but for what Jesus said, let every man be a liar and only Jesus tells the truth. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will direct you. The Holy Spirit will counsel you. How do I know this? Because I've been teaching this for 20 years in my ministry. And I know that when people pray, more prayer is more power. What's impossible with man is possible with God. And through him, all things are possible. And if we ask for God to open a door and shut another, he will. And if we ask for God to cover us and we cover ourselves with a holy head of protection with the blood of Jesus, we will be covered. How do I know this? I do it with my family. I do it with my business. I do it with my friends and with my clients. And it works. But we need empowerment. And why do we need empowerment? Because nobody else is going to do it. Everybody wants you to post on Facebook, on Instagram, and all these other social medias complaints. Well, what does God say in his word? In the mighty Torah, which we thank the Jewish people, glory be to God in Jesus' name, may they be blessed. For the Lord said, I will bless those that bless my people and curse those that curse my people. We have to thank the Jewish people because but for the Jewish people giving us the Holy Torah, we wouldn't have our Christian Bibles today. It was the Jewish people that shared the word of God that they were giving with us. 
And because of their sharing, we became Christians through the apostles, through the Great Commission, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because because of his cross and his resurrection, we are here. I'm a resurrected spirit, a resurrected soul, a resurrected body. Why? Because I've been in places where they said I might not come back. I've then been in places where they said I wouldn't have my eyes, but for the Holy Trinity I do. I got airlifted for an emergency brain surgery that didn't happen because there was nothing there because Jesus cleaned it up like he did with a woman with the issue of blood. So whatever you're going through, it doesn't matter because you need empowerment. You need empowerment of the three IQs. I've got a good formal solid education. I have my university degrees a couple. I spent a couple of years in law school. I went to mortgage banking school. I can keep on going on. I have credentials, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But none of that matters when you're in surgery, when you're being airlifted. Nothing matters when your family's crumbling and some of you are out there. Nothing matters when your children have been, you know, like the people that had their family shot. Nothing matters when you're being discriminated because there's racism, discrimination. And all of this has come about not because of human beings, but like it says in the book of Ephesians, for we do not fight flesh and blood. Understand this people today, we don't fight flesh and blood, for we fight higher powers of darkness, principalities, fallen angels, darkness, the antichrist, Satan, devils. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we're covered and we're safe. But we have to take this protective covering. It's our shield, the holy shield, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, a heart like Christ, the shield of faith, which is the word of the Lord that comes to the bone and marrow. Listen to that, the shield of faith, which stops the fiery darts, the belt of truth around in my waist, our waist, and finding the gospel of peace shot on our feet. For this is in the book of Ephesians. Everything I tell you here today is nothing man-made. It's God-inspired, that God inspired and the apostles wrote it, that it comes from the Torah, because the Messiah, Jesus, Holy Hashim, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapi, the great physician, he's always been with us. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God. And God said in the beginning in Genesis, he said, and I shall give you herbs and plants to eat and heal yourself with. Well, this might look like a nasty drink to some of you, but these are herbs and these are plants that God gave us to be healthy and eat with. And eat with. How do I know this? Because I'm 63 years old and I don't have a single disease in my body. In Jesus Christ's holy name, glory be to God. So for those of you who are feeling kind of depressed, sometimes it might be the nutrition you're eating. You know, you are what you eat. So if you eat junk food, you're going to look like junk and feel like junk. But we have to empower our spirits. And how do we do it? With the word of God and with each other. If you don't know how to read, don't worry about it. Try and listen to some of the Christian programs. Try and go to people. Try to affiliate with people who believe and trust in God. And most of all, look for people who have been through hard circumstances. Because you don't know how to overcome something if you've never been through it. You'll never overcome something if you haven't been through it. You can't inspire other people. It's just like the artist. He can't teach how to paint unless he's painted that before. So to be real frank with you, spiritual power comes. But you have to read the Bible. Listen to scripture. Surround yourself with people. And you know what happens? In the Bible it says... That a weak spirit cannot sustain illness, but a strong spirit will overcome. So just with that being said, think about it. If you're strong spirited, no matter what's said on all the news, because every single news station has a little bit of fakeness in it, but and a lot of truth. But think about this. Words are power, for the tongue has a power of life and death in the tongue. And right now what we've got in the United States is called the bellicose spirit. A bellicose spirit means an angry, rambunctious, you know, defiant spirit. But we can't get contaminated with that. Because God said, for we do not fight with the carnal weapons of the world, for we fight with divine powers, with divine strength. We remove strongholds in the name of Jesus, for we're people of the kingdom of God. And until people realize that we have so much power within us, like people say, but you know, we gotta wait till 2020. It's too late. Tomorrow may be too late. We've gotta stop all this stuff that's going around. We've gotta stop this, this break, break, break up in society. Why? Because people, you are being discriminated. You are being prejudged. Why? 
not only by the color of your skin, but you're being discriminated by the cars you drive, the houses you live in, the clothes you wear, the way you talk. And how do we change all this? We've got to empower the spirit. We've got to empower the spirit. I strongly believe everything I'm telling you, and I've practiced this for years, pretty much all of my life. The three IQs. We have spiritual, economic, financial, and credit, which are intertwined together, make component number two. And we've got the socialization IQ. Why? Because if you've got a strong spirit, you're going to still say, let's keep going, let's keep going. You don't even have to be an A personality. You can be an A or B or an A, B plus, or whatever personality. But just keep having that, that energy. we got to keep going. And don't do it for you. Do it for your future generations. We owe it to them. Economic, financial, and credit. How do you lift yourself economically? Well, there's very few people like me who will. You're going to find people who will sell you anything from a vacuum cleaner to a house or a loan or offer you a watch. And theirs is always the best and theirs is the best service. Test the heart, Jesus says. You know, if you walk into a place and you're Mexican-American and they say, Hola, compadre, como estas? Right there, you have a person who's already prejudged you, who's discriminating and who's exercising if they're, you know, a different color than ours, a little bit of race distinction. At the end of the day, we're all in human race, but people are so ignorant. As they say, sometimes people rise to the highest level of their intellectual ineptness. That's what's going on in society right now. But you have to look for cues. You have to look for, for ways, messages that people are sending you, whether they want you to rise in your economic level, they want to keep you the same, or they want to keep you suppressed or oppressed. Economics is very important. There'll be a number listed at the end of this video, which will tell you what number to call. And I provide free of charge, economic, financial, and credit information, education, and knowledge. And I'm opening a, a credit literacy school because everybody needs it. I'm not into being uh, Hispanic, Latino, Mexican American. I'm an American and I'm here to serve the American people. Why? Because we're, we're all people and we're one nation under God. But you need to have economics. And if for years your credit has been bad, you've probably been broke most of the time because you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul and you can't get past where you're going. There's so many ways to, to improve your credit, your credit score. And if you don't own a house, you should, because everybody should own a house in America. That's the American dream. If you're renting, you're paying too much for your rent because your mortgage payment is probably going to be cheaper than a house payment. So don't look for people to just sell you a house. Don't look for people to just give you a loan. Don't look for people to just give you a hands up. You take it, you empower your spirit, and you keep going, and you empower your family, and you empower your friends. Because it's empowerment that makes us equal. Look, I may be what they call of a brown natured skin, okay? Brown people, raza, whatever, okay, Chicana. But at the end of the day, my money's green. And green is an equalizer. It creates economic parity. But you can't have it unless you bring in one, two, and three. The socialization process. You have to acculturate, you have to assimilate. We're in America, and in this society, you gotta look a certain way, talk a certain way, and act a certain way. And there's nothing wrong with that, because most of the time, these looks, these ways, and whatever, not they're better or superior, but you know, it feels good to, to get dressed up. It feels, you get a different feeling. When I'm in my walking shorts or my jeans, I don't feel the same as when I'm in my little casual, you know, my flax here, my blazer. It's a whole different feeling. And why is it important? Because, if your spirit feels good, you wake up feeling good. If you, you know, if you balanced your checkbook and you've got what's called discretionary income, which means you have money to take your kids to do whatever during their vacations, and you're not going to bounce your check at the pizza parlor, and you know you're not going to be able. To, if you spend too much, you won't have money for gas. We need to have our economics balanced, and we need to have good credit. Good credit buys you a lot in this country. And those of you who know that you don't have good credit, you know because you're using somebody else's cell phone name to use, your cell phone's under somebody else's name. Your car's under somebody else's name. Your half payment's under somebody else's name. We gotta stop all that straw relationship stuff. First of all, it's illegal, you shouldn't be doing it. And second of all, it feels good to know that it's under your name. Your spirit, your economics, your name, your power. 
How do we socialize? How do we integrate? By this. You go to places that will lift you, that will educate you, that will empower you, that will give you knowledge. And at this time, I'm getting ready to close up here. We ask for the spirits of knowledge, prudence, wisdom, and understanding to come upon me and the audience here today. And we ask that God's hand be upon me and all the listeners of this video and that his face shine upon me and my descendants, my family, my friends, and my businesses. And his holy hand be upon us and he open our borders in the natural and the supernatural. That he keep us first and never last at the head and never at the tail. And he keep us free from sin and pain and all anxiety today as we travel in this journey called the world. This is a short journey for us and we prepare for our eternal life. If here, you know, you're a farm worker, you're a factory worker, you're a teacher, if you like your stay, stage in life, that's okay. But you want to be there forever. You should work that for when you go to your eternal rest and go and be with God, you should work to be at the top tier. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be just a consultant. I want to be around all the patriarchs and matriarchs that were there in the Holy Torah, that are there in the Bible. And today, as I summarize all this up, you need the three IQs, a strong spirit, so you can overcome any illness, anything that comes in your way, because you just toss out those fiery darts and get rid of them, and say, in the name of Jesus, I, Jesus, I rebuke, I bind what I bind on earth, I bind in heaven, I cast out and I arrest, for no, in Jesus' name, for no weapon formed against us can prosper, because greater is he who is in us and he who is in the world. If Almighty God be with us, no one be against us in Jesus' name. Economics, you drive a car or a new car, you live in a house that belongs to you with a good size payment, decent payment. Your credit is good where you can go and pay 0% interest rate. Socialization, it's important. You walk into a bank or an agency and they get a better opinion of you. But if you walk into somewhere, and you feel, and your heart tells you you're not going to be treated well, turn around and walk out. That's called prejudging. That's called prejudice. That's called discrimination. That's called whatever name you want to call it. But today, here I tell you, come to the Lord. Get the three IQs. My name is Maria Ibarra. I've been practicing business since the age of 14. I have proof of this. I've got a formal education and I've been as a professional working since 1978. For those of you who don't believe this, it doesn't matter. But for the few of you that take this and run, you will be successful. In Jesus' name, God bless you and may the blood of Jesus cover each and every one of you. And again, don't listen to anyone. Listen to the Holy Spirit within you. Holy Spirit rise in us. Lead us, direct us, guide us, and counsel us. In Jesus' name, amen.